Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna show you the update on the grocery prices in Russia after sanctions. And today I'm gonna take you to the supermarket Dixie. It's the supermarket I've never shown you before on my channel because normally I like to avoid this store because it's considered to be a lower level supermarket. Very affordable, but normally it's quite dirty. If you've ever been to one of those, you know what I'm talking about. But the one I'm gonna show you today is a little bit different because it's brand new. They just opened a couple of weeks ago, so it's supposed to be nice and clean and new. So let's check it out while it's still clean. See, they still have a banner saying that they just opened. I often read your comments saying that sanctions didn't affect the food sector in Russia, so there is no point in these videos. However, it's worth considering that while the impact might not be direct, food prices in Russia have been affected. For example, some Western food companies left Russia, reducing product variety on shelves and causing prices to go up. Also, there is something called parallel import, which as well is contributing to higher prices for certain products in Russia. And today I'm going to show you not only the food prices, but also we're going to take a look at the food items that either left the Russian market or changed their names. But before we start, let me give you the most important information. I'm in St. Petersburg and the average monthly salary in St. Petersburg is equal to 91,951 rubles, which is approximately $1,000. And the average median salary in St. Petersburg is equal to 65,000 400 rubles. And also, as of 15th of December, one dollar is equal to 89.77 rubles. But for our own convenience, I'm gonna calculate everything as 90 rubles for one dollar, which is fair because dollars exchange rate always fluctuates. Today it's 90 rubles, tomorrow it's gonna be 92, and next week it's gonna be 89. So let's do it 90 rubles for one dollar. The store looks clean, the size is decent, it's pretty big. So let's start with some bread, shall we? An average pack of bread costs 59 rubles, 35 rubles, even 12.50 for a pack like this. No wonder it's the last one left because of such a cheap price. Harry's bread, hello America, 110 rubles for a pack. They even have their own bakery. 70 rubles for garlic bread, 49 rubles. Avocados are quite expensive lately. This is uh, 42 rubles for 100 gram, and an avocado like this would be around 150 to 170 gram, which will cost about 100 rubles for one avocado, which is a lot. And I haven't seen cheap prices for avocados in more than six months. Mango, almost 40 rubles for 100 grams as well. So mangoes are even cheaper than avocados. 126 rubles for a kilo of bananas. I found a pineapple from Costa Rica here. It's 190 rubles for a kilo. Oranges are in season right now. 200 rubles for a kilo. Persimmons also in season. 120 rubles. Grapes 250 for a kilo. Granny Smith apple 120 rubles. Seasonal local apples 79 rubles for a kilo as well. There is also a tiny ready-to-eat section. Everything except the lower level. But in this store, I wouldn't trust it and I would not buy anything from ready to eat section here. A tiny selection of cakes. 550 rubles for a tiramisu cake. Cabbage, 21 rubles for a kilo. And an average cabbage like this would be around two and a half kilos. Is beetroot as popular in your countries as it is in Russia? 19 rubles for a kilo. Russians put beetroot in many salads, soups and other dishes. We have borscht, vinaigrette and other stuff like this. Let me know if you also eat beetroot. I wanted to see the price for onion, but there is no price tag. And oftentimes when they don't put the price tag, that means that the product is on promotion and is sold for a really good price. That's why they even hide the price. But onion is not expensive. For example, the red one is 50 rubles for a kilo. 
and this one probably even cheaper and it looks really good sweet potato is not very popular in russia but we still have a tiny little section of it 140 rubles for a kilo tomatoes 156 rubles for a kilo here's the decent cucumbers i like 180 rubles for a pack of 450 grams potatoes 14 rubles for a kilo washed potato 35 pumpkin 70 rubles for a kilo of course here's also a little section with greens and they are hidden in the fridge a pack of arugula 140 rubles my favorite candies of all time grains the most important section let's see buckwheat the essential of any russian family 89 rubles 79 rubles 124 rubles for a fancier one the cheapest one is 69 actually no the cheapest one is 44 rubles for such a decent pack like this a pack of beans 150 rubles 200 rubles lentils 110 rubles gopnik's favorite food sunflower seeds cooking oil this section is quite small but again this is a budget-friendly supermarket so they're not gonna have a giant selection although they do have olive oil here only a few types and also unrefined sunflower seed oil that smells like sunflower seeds 774 rubles 600 rubles 90 rubles and regular sunflower seed oil 100 rubles for a pack in this store they don't have a chill fish section only the frozen one a pack of shrimps 800 grams 500 rubles garbusha fish 340 rubles for a kilo now there is lots of talks and jokes online about the prices of eggs in russia so let's check them out again remember this is a budget-friendly supermarket and the cheapest eggs that i see here are 120 rubles for a pack of 10 and the most expensive are 160 rubles for a premium quality eggs and 120 rubles is like about 40 rubles more expensive than the average price for eggs before this craziness that happened with eggs i don't know what's that about but 120 rubles seems like too expensive for a pack of eggs flour 57 rubles for a pack of two kilo 90 rubles 110 rubles also two kilos salt 100 grams 38 rubles sugar 52 rubles for a kilo pasta barilla is on average 95 rubles for a pack but these i feel like much better pasta 65 rubles for a pack it's a 450 grams now let's take a look at some items that changed their names but still stayed in russia this is coffee jacobs original brand and now they changed their name to monarch and i guess these are just some of the leftovers they still are trying to sell out they didn't change the factory they didn't change the owner they just simply changed their name another example poetic coffee this used to be paulik and some prices this is the coffee that i usually buy 100 percent arabica made in germany 400 rubles on promotion at this store usually it's a lot more expensive but i only buy this coffee on promotion and one kilo of lavazza coffee beans 2000 rubles here is the lace chips and in every country i feel like lace have their own unique flavors here in russia we have lace with shashlik flavor and also with red caviar but red caviar is seasonal dedicated to the new year alenka chocolate a giant pack like this 200 grams 170 rubles and the small one 90 rubles since the original coca-cola left russia there's now so many knockoff brands and this one dobry cola or kind cola is produced on the same factory that coca where coca-cola used to be except when coca-cola left they took their formula with them although even in this store you can still find the original coca-cola and this one is from kazakhstan hello parallel import let's talk about another impact of the sanctions right now everything looks back to normal but when the sanctions just started there was no paint that russia used to buy from different countries i guess or for whatever reasons all the juice packs were white 
but now it looks like the paint is back and they look like regular juice packs now except these ones or maybe this one is very cheap brand that don't spend money on paint look at this exotic flavor 190 rubles for banana and guava flavor i'm curious to try this out typical russian candy section all the prices are for 100 grams so here's 70 rubles for 100 grams of sneaker candy 33 rubles 30 rubles 55 rubles another one of my favorite candies 40 40 rubles as well Here is toilet paper section, 100 rubles for a pack of 4, 230 for a pack of 6, 190 for some fancy ones, and the best deal I see here, 8 rolls for 250 rubles. Here is also a decent baby food section, also some diapers, and even baby formula. Dairy section is usually giant in any big supermarkets. Here it's not that big, but they have everything you need. Let's see. Milk, 60 rubles for a pack, 110 rubles for a giant pack of milk. You can also find milk in these carton packs and even in a pack like this. 65 rubles for a pack of sour cream, 45 rubles. Cottage cheese, this one is 200 rubles for a pack. It's a fancier one regular 115 another brand change this used to be valio it's a finnish brand now it's viola and the yogurt is called laplandia they keep finnish traditions another rebranding example this used to be activia in english and now it's called activio and is written in russian here is some russian brand yogurt called chuda or miracle in english 55 ruble for a pack and it has two layers with the gem. Sausages, I don't really buy them, but they are here if you need them. 190 rubles for a pack, 130, 170. Look, there is even hamon, but it's probably produced somewhere in Russia and it cost 130 rubles for only 50 grams. Bacon, 130 rubles. cheese 190 rubles for a pack 120 190 as well 210 rubles for a pack of blue cheese let's look at some mayo prices 190 rubles for a giant pack of 800 milliliters 76 rubles for half a size ketchup 90 rubles for a pack some crab sticks that have nothing to do with the crab 90 rubles 110 rubles 59 rubles on promotion this store even has a tiny section with shampoos toothpastes body washes deodorants and stuff like this a pack of tissues 100 rubles toothpaste 180 rubles deodorant 260 rubles 360 rubles for a bottle of shampoo despite this store being quite small they have a decent size of alcohol section here's some beers 67 rubles 60 rubles russian beer 58 rubles here's also some wine And here is some sparkling wine and also vodka and some other hard liquors. 320 rubles for a bottle of Siberian vodka, 305 rubles for Baikal, 1 liter of vodka, 640 rubles, Russian standard, 350 rubles, Stalichne, also the brand you might recognize, 360 rubles for a bottle and as you notice they don't have fancy vodkas here like beluga gray goose and other stuff because again it's a cheap store a pack of full chicken 228 rubles for a kilo and average pack has almost two kilos so multiply this price by two that's the price for the full chicken sometimes if there is no price written there you can come to this machine scan the item and find out its price 
But I'm having a really hard time <laughs> scanning this item. Four crips for 119 rubles for a pack of one kilo. A pack of ground beef, 108 rubles for 400 grams. A maxi kinder egg, 400 rubles. Can you believe that it's only 4.28 p.m. and it's already so dark? In reality, it's even darker than what you can see on camera for some reason. The reality of living in St. Petersburg. And right now I want to show you the store right next to Dixie. It's called Magnit Cosmetic. And it's a store where you can only buy... I don't know how to say this section in one word. Household items? No, it's like the store where you can buy shampoos, body washes, a toothpaste and stuff like this. The entire store is dedicated to only these items. It's right here looks pink so let's go check it out really quickly as you can see there's lots and lots of stuff but there is one thing that I just noticed I want to show you Sios brand I guess they had some problems with Russia as well and they rebranded and renamed their brand into Sios. It's written in Russian and looks really funny. That's how the brand is used to be called. And the price is 280 rubles for a bottle of shampoo. Tresemme, a bottle 360 rubles. Head and shoulders 490 rubles and it's pretty big bottle. Pantene 330 rubles for shampoo. 320 rubles for a conditioner. No matter what shampoo I try in my life, I always come back to this one. Fructis, it's the brand that I use since childhood. 240 rubles. 500 rubles for a giant bottle of 700 milliliters. Fructis hair mask, 380 rubles. That's an interesting bottle and a fancy price. 1,600 rubles for a shampoo. A little section with face masks 177 ruble for one piece 110 190 280 some hair sprays here i also see something different tuft just renamed into russian version of it now it's tuft but written in russian Here is some body wash section. Let's check some prices. 300 rubles for a small bottle of Dove body wash. 500 rubles for Nivea, 650 milliliters. Some natural body wash, 350 rubles. 800 rubles for Korean body wash. 500 rubles, 350. Another example, they just changed this brand Fa into Russian Fa. A soap in a regular pack like this. 40 rubles. Some gift box section. Makeup. I bet if you're from the US, you've never heard about this brand. And this one as well. There's a new mascara that just came out in Russia. What does this remind you of? Yes, that's exactly what it's supposed to look like. giant pack of Tide laundry detergent, 1,100 rubles, 900 rubles, 660 rubles for liquid one, the capsules, 1,000 rubles for 18 pieces or 45 pieces for 2,100 rubles, dishwasher, 260 rubles or 100 rubles for a small one, 120 rubles, 170, 200 rubles. I need a new toothbrush. Here's even little section with perfumes. Mostly it's really cheap perfumes. The only brand I know I found here is this Moschino one. 2,300 rubles for a bottle. And I also found the Abercrombie and Fitch perfume. That's a surprise, 4,000 rubles. 3,000 rubles for a bottle. And 
And the last thing I want to show you for today is the price for a Venus razor. 500 rubles is the cheapest one and 1200 rubles is more expensive one. So that is it for this video guys. Please let me know what you think of the prices in Russia. Are they expensive? Are they doable? Anything you want to say, please say it in the comments. And let me know if you want me to continue and make more videos like that for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.